Have you ever been so tired after a long day that you felt like you were going to pass out? So you quickly got yourself into bed, turned off the light, closed your eyes, and then nothing? You'd lay awake, squeezing your eyes shut, trying your hardest to fall asleep, but you just can't? So you toss and turn and change your position several times. You adjust your pillow, pull your sheets over your body, and then throw them off in frustration. You glance at the clock. Minutes have turned into hours, and you become more and more aware of how awful you're going to feel tomorrow. Well, if this sounds familiar, then this video is for you. Sleep is an important part of our lives. There's no doubt about it. When we get a good night's sleep, we feel rested, alert, and ready to tackle the day ahead of us. However, when we don't get enough sleep, well, I'm sure we're all too familiar with the consequences. We feel depleted, sluggish, and very moody. So, if sleepless nights have become a frequent occurrence in your life, it's time to start taking steps to improve your sleep hygiene. Despite the name, sleep hygiene isn't the same as bodily hygiene. Rather, sleep hygiene is all about building healthy habits that will help you sleep well on a regular basis. One important aspect of sleep hygiene that is often overlooked, however, is the importance of your sleep environment. Your sleep environment is a space in which you go to rest your head each night. Typically, this is your bedroom, but it can also be a hotel room when you're away, or even a tent when you're out camping. Wherever it is, in order to get your beauty sleep, you need to ensure your environment meets the right criteria. So, that's why in today's video, we're going to share five effective tips that you can use to create the ultimate sleep environment, improve your sleep hygiene, and get a good night's rest. Tip number one, reduce your light exposure. When creating the ultimate sleep environment, lighting has the most dramatic impact on our sleep quality. And why is that? Well, light is essential for regulating our body's internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm. When light enters our eyes, it sends information to our brain to let it know what time of day it is. Simply put, our brain associates light with daytime and darkness with nighttime. This is why we feel alert during the day and sleepy at night. The brain amazingly does this by producing melatonin, our body's natural sleep hormone. Our melatonin levels naturally increase throughout the evening as darkness falls. However, any exposure to light inhibits this process, resulting in a delay to our body's transition to sleep. So you see, here's the issue. Exposure to light during the night can trick our brains into thinking it's still daytime, which causes our brain to produce less melatonin, leaving us feeling alert when we should be feeling sleepy. This is indeed a modern day problem. Just think back to our cavemen ancestors. When the sun set, the cavemen would make their way back to their dark caves, and due to the absence of electricity and modern day technology, their bodies would start producing melatonin in preparation for sleep. So, it makes sense that in order to get a good night's sleep, we need to be mindful of our exposure to light during the evening and take steps to ensure that our sleep environment is as dark as possible. A good tip is to use blackout curtains or an eye mask and turn off or cover up any electronic devices in your room that cause any unwanted sources of light. Also, in the hours leading up to bedtime, try to limit your exposure to any sources of blue light. Blue light is produced by most electronic devices and can severely impact your production of melatonin. So switch off your TV or computer and put your phone on night mode. Another good tip is to install a night light in the bathroom or hallway in case you need a source of light during the night. However, be sure to use an orange or red toned bulb. Warmer colours are much less disruptive to sleep compared to other wavelengths of light and can actually assist in the production of melatonin. This is because they mimic the colour of the sun when it's setting over the horizon, so our brain associates this with sleepiness. Tip number two, choose a comfy mattress and pillow. Do you toss and turn and change your sleeping position several times over and over again during the night? Do you wake up each morning feeling stiff, sore and numb? If so, you may need to consider investing in a more comfortable mattress and pillow. 
when picking a mattress and pillow, be sure to take into consideration individual and lifestyle factors such as your preferred sleeping position, your body weight, and whether you prefer lying on a firm or soft surface. You can also make your bed more inviting by choosing sheets that have a pleasant texture and are appropriate for the weather, helping to keep your body a comfortable temperature during the night. Whatever you choose to sleep on, make sure it's comfy. Humans need comfort. Tip number three, make your room a comfortable temperature. Temperature is another really important yet often neglected part of our sleep environment. In order to sleep comfortably, we need a room temperature of approximately 18 degrees Celsius or 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because our body's internal temperature is regulated by our circadian rhythm, which means that it constantly shifts throughout a 24 hour period. When our body's core temperature is at its highest during the day, our body releases a hormone known as cortisol, which promotes wakefulness and helps us stay alert throughout the day. When the sun sets, our core temperature begins to drop and our body starts producing melatonin, which causes us to feel sleepy. So having a sleep environment that is too hot or too cold causes fluctuations in our body's internal temperature which in turn disrupts the production of our body's sleep hormones and makes it harder for us to get a restful sleep. So in order to get a good sleep, we need to keep our sleep environment an optimal temperature. As a general rule, it's better to be cooler rather than warmer. So try opening windows, turning on a fan or installing a thermostat to regulate your room's temperature. If you find yourself feeling too cold, try adding an extra layer to your bedding or wear warmer clothing to bed. Similarly, if you find yourself getting too hot, consider using lightweight blankets or wearing lighter bedclothes to keep yourself a comfortable temperature throughout the night. Tip number four, block out unwanted noise. It should come as no surprise that a quiet bedroom, free from distractions, is essential for promoting a healthy night's sleep. This is because over the course of human evolution, our brains have become highly sensitive to changes in sound frequency. Just think back to our caveman ancestors. Hearing a loud noise during the night typically indicated a life-threatening danger that required immediate action, such as the roar of a hungry predator looking for its next meal. In today's day and age, noises such as traffic sounds or rowdy neighbours who stay up partying until 3am aren't exactly life-threatening, but they still trigger our caveman instincts and keep us awake at night. So in order to keep our caveman brains at ease, we need a quiet, distraction-free sleep environment. You don't need to make your room completely silent, you just need to block out and eliminate sources of noise that you find disruptive. Try closing windows and doors that may let in loud noises during the night or try using earplugs to block out unavoidable sources of noise. Earplugs with a noise reduction rate of 32 are best as these will help to block out unwanted environmental noises but will still allow you to hear important sounds such as a baby crying or a fire alarm. You may also wish to invest in a white noise sound machine. White noise works by masking unexpected changes in sound frequency that alert our brain and disturb our sleep. Research also suggests that white noise can help some people feel more relaxed and reduce the time it takes to fall to sleep by up to 40%. So if you find white noise soothing, a white noise machine might be a good addition to your sleep environment. Tip number five, choose the right alarm tone. One last thing to consider is the type of alarm you use to wake up in the morning. A blaring, beeping alarm will trigger an unnecessary fight or flight response in your body, causing you to wake up feeling stressed and anxious. Pick an alarm that wakes you up in the least jarring way possible. There are many different options available, but typically, alarms that start off soft and get progressively louder are best. These types of alarms induce changes in your brain activity that mimic our body's natural awakening. This will ensure that you wake up feeling refreshed and ready for the day, rather than feeling agitated and on edge. It's also a good idea to keep your alarm away from your bed. 
alarm clocks can often be sources of distraction. They emit unwanted light that can disturb your sleep and they can cause you to feel anxious and stressed if you find yourself constantly glancing at the time on the clock throughout the night. It's best to keep your alarm faced away from you in a spot that can't be reached from your bed. So there you have it. Five tips for creating the ultimate sleep environment. Remember, the most important thing when creating your sleep environment is that you need to maximize comfort and minimize distractions. By having a cool, dark and quiet place to rest your head at night, you can significantly improve your sleep hygiene and in turn improve your overall sleep quality. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click that notification bell so we can stay in touch.